Hello everyone. Welcome to another interesting tutorial on SQL inner join by simply code. In our previous video, we have discussed about SQL joins and its various types. In today's session, we'll discuss one of the most commonly used SQL join that is inner join and execute its statements in MySQL workbench using various examples. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe to our channel Simply Code to stay updated with all the latest tech content and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. So without any further ado, let's get started with today's topic. So what is SQL inner join? Using the inner join, the tables are combined on the basis of a condition also known as the join predicate. This condition is applied on the columns of both the tables on either side of the join clause. The query checks all the rows of table 1 and table 2. Now it will display only those values that satisfy the join predicate in the resultant table. That means it finds the matching values or the uh, matching records that are found in both the tables. For example, I have a table A which has records 1, 2, 3, 4 and in table B I have records 3, 4, 5, 6. Now if you join these two tables, now the resultant output output will be 3 and 4 because these are only two records that are present in both the tables. That is, the table is matching the common values that are present in both the tables. Let us now understand the syntax of SQL inner join. The syntax is followed as select table1.column1, table1.column2, table2.column2 and so on. From table1, inner join is the keyword we have to use table2 on table1.column equals to table2.column. Here after the join uh, expression we are mentioning the columns uh, from which we want to match the, both the tables. Now that we have understood uh, what is SQL in a join, let us jump into MySQL workbench and uh, execute it with the help of an example. As you can see MySQL workbench has started and on the left side you can uh, see the database that is simply code and the various tables that are present in our database simply code. Like we have customer table, department table, employee table, order table etc. Now to perform the SQL inner join uh, operations uh, we'll use the employee table, department table and the projects table. Now let us display the values that are present in the table. For that we have to use the select statement or you can directly click on this uh, table icon here. So first let us display the values present in the employee table. The employee table has the following fields such as employee ID, employee name, age, designation, the city they belong to, salary, date of joining and their department ID. Next let us display the values that are present in the department table. The department table has two fields that is department ID and department name. And finally let us display the values present in the projects table. The project table has the project ID, employee ID, the project name and the project manager. Now let's say we have a query here which says to retrieve the employee details and the department they are working in. Now before we write a query we have to check uh, for all those tables in which these informations are present in. For example I can get the employee details from the employee table such as their employee ID, employee name, the designation, salary and so on. And also I can get the department details from the department table. Now the expected uh, query or the resultant table is based on these two tables. Now in order to retrieve the records from these two different tables, I need to uh, connect them. In other words, we have to join these two tables. This is where the inner join comes into picture. With the help of inner join, we can connect these uh, two tables and uh, we can retrieve all those matching records from those tables. Now the following query uh, would be for the inner join is select mention the column names that you want to display. Now I want I will display the employee ID. So employee dot employee ID. I'll also uh, display the employee name. So employee dot employee name. I'll also display the uh, employee designation. So I am taking employee dot designation. Now uh, I'll uh, also uh, retrieve the information from the department. So I'll have to mention the department table here as well. So department dot department ID, <clears throat> right? Now the query is uh, continued as from the table, table one that is employee. I'll just uh, write in the next, sent, uh, next sentence from employee. Inner join is the keyword we have to use here and mention the second table that is department 
on which is the keyword and mention uh, the uh, condition on the basis of which you are connecting these two tables now i'm connecting the employee and the department table with the help uh, with the uh, help of the department id so i'll mention employee dot department id equals to department dot department id so let us now execute this statement and see the output so as you can clearly see it is displaying the values of employee id employee name the designation and the department id as well now as you clear clearly you can see that the join condition is specified in the inner join clause after the on keyword uh, as the expression now for each row in the pro, uh, in the employee table the query finds a corresponding row in the department table that has the same matching values based on which we have mentioned here that is the department id now if there is a match between two rows in both the tables it returns all those rows that contains columns that we have specified for example we have specified employee id a uh, name designation and the department that they belong to so in this way you can use the inner join to get the records from both the tables also you can uh, get the department name as well by uh, mentioning the department uh, names in the uh, query the department name dot department dot department name now this will display uh, the records of the department name that are present in the department table as well so as you can see uh, there are total of uh, six records and the employee details and the department names that they are working in and also if you uh, notice there are only six records that are present in a resultant table when we have uh, a total of 20 records that are present in the employee table that's because uh, the inner join only matches those records from those columns that are having matching values from both the tables and and also the condition that we have specified uh, in our in a join statement similarly let us look at another query which says to retrieve the employee details project they are working on and the project manager assisting them now for this to get the employee details again i'll again use the employee table and to get the details of the uh, project uh, name and the project manager's name i'll use the project table so the following query would be select e dot employee id now here i have taken the alias name for the tables that is you can mention a temporary name for the uh, tables that you have chosen so for employee table i am taking as e and for projects i am taking as p in order to save time and, uh, and to save time we'll write in this way so the query is followed as select e dot employee id e dot employee name p dot project name p dot project manager from the first table that is employee e inner join projects we have taken the name as p on e dot employee id is equals to p dot employee id which is the common column from which we get the matching values from both the tables let us now execute uh, this statement and see the output so as you can see we can uh, we are able to retrieve the employee id employee name project name that the employee is working on and the project manager that uh, have been assigned to these employees and if you notice uh, carefully here like some of the employees who are having employee id like 1012 1013 1018 16 uh, they have no project names assigned to their uh, to their names that this is because even though we have all the details of employees uh, in the employee table we do not have the data that that is being stored in the projects table that is the reason uh, only a limited number of records are being shown and as per the definition of inner join it will fetch only those records uh, which have matching values from both the tables so in this way you can join uh, two or more tables using the inner join statement and with that we have come to the end of today's session that was all about sql inner join Thank you for watching the video guys I hope you found this tutorial informative and helpful If you have any further queries regarding any of the topics covered in today's session feel free to let us know in the comment section below and a team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest Until next time stay safe and keep coding